<laughs> okay, so what is your favourite thing about Christmas? Getting my food at Christmas by my mother. Okay. Yes. And what's your favourite food from that? <laughs> um, roast, roast beef with gravy, succulent gravy with chips and fries. Odd <laughs> twist on the traditional roast <laughs> potatoes, but okay. <laughs> and what's the best and what is the worst present you've ever received? Oh, the best present I've ever received. Probably getting my Scotland goalie top. Because it was quite sort of cold outside and I went, I'll get and play a wee bit of football after this. And it was a bit cold, so I went back inside. <laughs> but the worst present I ever got was my uncle always used to keep on getting me clothes. Uh, but now I don't actually mind getting clothes, but he always used to give me the same colour jumper every year. And I didn't like it. But I was a kid then, but I don't really make that now. Okay, and finally, what do what would you like to see in 2019? Like, what's your hopes and dreams? Ooh, hopes and dreams for 2019. That's a tough one because I haven't really thought of that one yet. Um, probably just sort of making sure I'm like into radio and like having a great career in radio, like doing well in radio for next year and passing the scores, obviously. Okay, ideal. That's us. Just. Thank you. Right, so can you tell me what your favourite part of Christmas is? My favourite part of Christmas is the build up. I really like going to the markets and stuff like that, despite how crowded they are. I just really like how festive everything is until the day. Deal, and what is the best and worst present you've ever received? I can't really, it's quite uh, vague, but I just like any pre like not in a I like all presents, it's just I'm really grateful for what I get. I'm quite sentimental, so. Like my mum would probably get me like a snow globe that's like got sentimental value to it. In fact, she got me from a charity shop because I seen it, and it was a Christmas pudding tea set, and it was like all Christmas pudding shaped and like that. And my worst present was last year. My mum, everything was great, and then the last thing she forgot to give me. Uh, have you ever heard the YouTuber Zoella? She's like the worst human in the world. I personally don't like her. And for some reason she bought me this, and it was an advent calendar, so it was like belated. But it was a 12 days of Christmas, so it wasn't even an advent calendar. It's like just random crap that you don't want in this box. And I was like, great, so I'm using it this year, but there's, there's a notebook. That's all I've got so far. I'm like, sorry. Okay, and finally, what would you like to see happen in 2019? I think me and Elphys can both say that in 2018 we want to leave misogyny and in 2019 we'd like a better future for women. So, what is your favourite thing about Christmas? Getting the presents, basically. Yeah. Um, I suppose the food, drink, but yeah, presents. Okay. And what is your best and worst present you've ever received? Oh, the worst <laughs> present I got a few years ago, and it was bubble bath. It was just a whole load of bubble bath, but just different makes. I don't know if that was a hint. Um, the best Christmas present would have to be, like if somebody buys me super dry jackets or jumpers, I like that. Oh, no, no, when I was five, I ski electrics. Oh, yes, that's a good one. <laughs> Yeah, and finally, what would you like to see for your 2019? Um, I'll be polite about this. I am a relationship. That'd be nice. <laughs> yeah, that's great. Um, Thank you. So what is your favourite thing about Christmas? And what is the favourite present you received and also your worst present you received? So the best present I've received would be a couple days off from folding presents for Santa. And the worst present would be the extra days we have to work on the Christmas period. And finally, what would you like to see happen in 2018? What are your hopes for, uh, no, 2019. What are the hopes for 2019? Well, my hopes for 2019 is to see the Bangladeshi sweatshops shut down, not for any ethical reasons, but just because 